Hello, everybody. <laughs> boom breakers. <laughs> I will book break. I will boom break. God, they will break my bone, bro. Uh, I'm very interested. See, we can be still that salty. You know right. <laughs> you see, they won't break my bone. I mean, when I see me, like, if you look my page, I'm not gonna say bad as it be. Man, I see the train, man, they do. You know, all this one, a coded message to me. Then they said, because the bone, the only, only one bone I get, we I shall you see if we break. Let me break my eye. Let me break all this one, a fantasy. Now, one bone, she be break. Like the bone, she be tassy. Yeah, make my bone. Make break bone, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Oh, lady, the bone, yeah. Bone, you call. Let me see. Let me know bone, me see, old mama. Yeah, I can't believe it. If you know both, old mama, now the young, young, I just like you too, like you, because that's why you start the story for your rant. They talk half tea. She won't just come meet me. She won't just come meet me. You don't talk with it happen. She won't. You see, that's what that obedient movement. I will all that their behavior. They are the victims and the aggressors at the same time. People like that. They have no grace. That's why I cannot follow. That's why I cannot take them serious. That's why they always... I know they give them breathing space. And especially the sabotage. When they come try to sabotage me inside prison. Not to say they are at a war path. It is war they want with me. They want. They see say, Nami, Nami break their leg for that campaign. So they are trying anything now. Now they make Aisha Yusuf for now. Expose their plan. Say, she said, I go beat her. I just say I go beat her. She don't cut beat woman. I'm an African man. In this my matured life, I've never really been crazy for waiting. Don't get me wrong. My mother says everybody in this world deserves getting slapped. Everybody. But it's not from me. Not be me won't touch you. You don't understand. Not be me. So I'm a plan. That's why you can't do that thing that day for that studio. Thinking that me, I will come and beat woman. Because I did lie when I did lie that time with that. She will continue the beating wife. See the way he talks in wife. You know, beating wife. So they send you to come provoke me. Thinking that I will beat you with her. But me, I'm a Kalakuta boy. Now, mouth. I take my mouth. Who? What till I take my mouth? Yeah, so. This tough story where she talk. And this whole thing where they talk. Now, only one question I will ask Aisha, you see. When I ask her that question finish, we will know who she really is. Then we can take the we can take the matter further. If she feel answer that question, we can take this matter further. But I doubt she has the balls. <laughs> I doubt she has the balls. <laughs> no pun intended, bro. No pun intended. So we go for new central, right? First, she said they talked to Ketensha was there. You know, so anybody can go and verify. Now, near me, she sit down. First of all, she was just smelling. Oh my God. I sat down. It was, I can't know why them Ketensha, because then Ketensha, every week there, they do the thing with her. With one guy, I don't forget his name. He escapes my, my mind. One of that popular guy was there. They can't sit down far from her, or can't put me next to her. Ah! Set me up. Two hours. This woman just they smell. Oh my God. Anyway, next to where she go talk. She just jumped. Ah. Once her husband died, now young young girls, she won the young young boys, now she go to chase. Ah. You know, she was talking. You know that thing really. But your husband is not. Who thinks about what they want to do when their husband is dead? Alaji, I don't know you. Beware. They are planning already for your demise. They are already planning for your demise. They are already at it planning, bro. So beware. I don't know how else to put it.
I don't know how else to put it to. Beware, beware, beware. They're already planning. So beware. They said they're young, young boys. They want to follow when you die. <laughs> so I said, ah, who says that about a loved one? Like, this person is... He said, even the husband know that they tell your husband, say, once, ah, okay, let me mind my bit. Mm -hmm. The husband will let them plan in life after he don't die. You know, understand? Let me mind my own what? Business. Mm -hmm. So we're having the political discussion. Yes. I mean, I was insisting that the private sector, the banks, oil businesses, I mean, our telecommunication businesses, they also have a hand in the issue. They are unethical practices. Has a hand in the issue of the problem of Nigeria. It's not only public sector. Not the only government that cause Nigeria problem now. The private sector has a role to play. It's an ally. No, 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 no. That, and I said, it's only capitalists that will say the private sector cannot be held responsible. She said, am I not a capitalist? I said, no, I'm not a capitalist. See, I'm a self-employed worker. That's how I identify. I'm not a capitalist. We talk, they say, hey, she should be Jay-Z a capitalist. I said, yes. Jay-Z was a self-employed worker that decided to become a capitalist. I they given her the whole story where happened. Now, yeah, what did happen? She said, yeah, hey, so Jay-Z is a capitalist. I said, yeah. Say, but you, you are not a capitalist. I said, no. He said, oh, now because you never blew. Ah, ah. Now because I never blew. What do you mean by that? Now they are our issue from start. I can't remind her, say, the final account where you drop for obedience it has been rejected. They are making noise. Are you going to finish the obedient account? Now, let me say, if I ask him, when are you going to finish the obedient account? Eh? Is that too much to ask? She yab me a yaba. Finish. She come to talk to this me. I won't beat her. Me? Is that the reason why you did it? They don't say you come to provoke she. Like, me, I will lay hands on you and I'll get sorted to go take food for she. Outside. She won't be too much. She won't be too much. Because of their own understanding of fighting for feminism be that. Person will never liberate himself from hijab. You are, now you're on internet knocking hand, talking to me. Can you talk to a man like that in Saudi Arabia? Can you go online and be knocking your hand on the table talking to a man like that in Saudi Arabia? You will want to liberate Nigerian women. When I will go for Hajj, now go Hajj. Those Saudi people would embarrass you people, insult you people, treat you like prostitutes. They grab all of Nayash and breast, calling all of you prostitutes. I have friends that have been to this Hajj. That the way they treat Nigerian women in this in that place, you see, you never see anything worse than that in your life. How many now they come back house can report? You go there, they will treat you people anyhow, like Saudi Arab people can treat you how they want. But when you come to Nigeria, you didn't knock table, you didn't knock table for man all day. Now that one, you, you are free. Now that one, you are free. Can you do it in Saudi Arabia? I repeat, it is the freedom that Africa grants you. That Africa will not reject. None of the bastards. That's why you people cannot use those freedoms correctly. You use the freedom to bow to Arab men. Use it to bow to European men. But anything African men say is what you want to attack, is what is wrong. But the one way Ar Arab man tell you, tie yourself like goats. Yes, 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 it's the word of God. Madam Bonebreaker, sorry about the, about your need to break my bone. It can't happen. And why the violence? So much violence. In the old things we talk about it. Did you people hear me say I want to beat Aisha Yusuf? You see how these Arab people have destroyed the our brain, the Arab mentality. You see that the Arabic mentality is deep inside our brain. I will beat you. I will break your brain. This is a person without power. You know, never give her one police oddly. She not get one police oddly. But the moment you give them. Just imagine if you give, now give this kind of person. Me and you get intellectual argument. We talk amount to mouth. I yab you. I never tell you, I won't beat you. I never do anything violent towards you. You say you won't break all the bone from my body. I'm going to break every finger. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> uh, 
is this way people are looking like that that's a human being you know talk the full story like she can't insult me where i did jail so like she insults me thinks that she won't talk something she says she will book 60 show <laughs> 60 show to talk from where <laughs> say the guy show away your your right your partner david today that time away david today you go book for oxford with a push on her side <laughs> say that that guy what he said one go book who won't book that for this thing let me tell you people the things with me i don't achieve for life if i get half now you have a place for a forehead the worker for road so that nigerians can think you pass something and those things me i don't even rate it she never named me times most influential 100 times most influential. They don't put me 2023. I've been at 2022. I can't even remember because I know they don't put me for among the list. Did I use it to go and do anything, brag about it? Me showing the look here. I've been recognized by the French government with a knighthood. I have a national French honor, bro. Yeah, Nigerian government might not look at me because I did finger their eye, but you see this France, where I did so. They will wait. I don't reach Ireland. I was in France last week. I have national honor. Recognize government. Give me, I'm a chevalier. If you get that kind of honor, you place it on your forehead. You'll be wearing the brooch everywhere you are going. Because this is what you people use your activism for. For your own personal aggrandizement. That's why your own beating you can talk. You cannot ideologically answer me. Now how you won't beat, break bone. Because all you people are looking for is power. It's power, bro. You are not looking for the freedom of Nigerian people. You don't even like Nigerian people. 2023, I was part of... Google released their statistics. In Nigeria, 2023, I was part of the top 10 most searched individual. Then you can't buy that. Right? Top 10 most searched. Say, I won't take you dead name. We no, you will nobody know. As I'm helping you now, people are knowing you. You say, me, I won't take you. Now, power will not defined. All of you are looking for power. And not even power to liberate or power to develop. You are looking for power to continue oppression. All you people behave, uh, all you obedient are, are people that are telling us that you can oppress us better than the oppressors there now. Finish. You have no plan for Nigerians. Only that we can oppress you better. Finish. So now, all this is what I talk to so is not my response to all the things that you talk today. For that, your life. My response will come after you answer me this one question. If the, if you feel answer, if you feel answer, I know that yes, you are worthy of my real discussion. You are an intellectual worthy of my discussion. Anything other than that means you be bonkong mumu. So let me push this question. You like Nigeria? You love Nigerians. What you are doing is for Nigeria, B. Let me ask you this question. If a nuclear bomb escapes, Madam Aisha Yusuf that loves Nigeria, if a nuclear bomb escapes from the silos in America or Russia, or this nuclear power, hmm? if nuclear bomb escape from there, they come for they come for road, they call you, you know, Aisha Yusuf, you are called that this nuclear bomb that has left Russia or America is going to either Lagos, Nigeria, or Mecca, Saudi Arabia. I repeat, if they ask you, Aisha Yusuf, that a nuclear bomb is coming to Nigeria or Saudi Arabia, that you, Aisha Yusuf, should pick one. Pick where this nuclear bomb should land. Where will you pick? Say the answer publicly. Will you pick that the bomb land in Lagos, Nigeria, or you pick for the bomb to land in Mecca, Saudi Arabia? Tell us. We want to know. We want to know. You love Nigeria. You Can you love Nigeria? I said you must liberate from the hijab. So answer me that question. If bomb, they come now. From Russia or America. They ask you. I shall you for a so-called Nigeria. I love Nigeria. This bomb should land in Lagos, Nigeria. Or Mecca, Saudi Arabia. They have no choice. You must pick one. Where will you pick? Where will you pick? I want your answer. Say your answer publicly and no fear.